is going on why do people have such a problem with Fat Thor in Endgame don't even know why it's a situation because I don't understand why people still stuck on when he was built in like the, the, the past Avengers and the Thor movies now look people when I saw Endgame when I saw it was a Fat Thor I was like oh check it out it's Fat Thor okay what's going on with that and then when the movie continued to run I actually be able to actually figure out what they actually was doing with the Fat Thor character which was actually a pretty good they actually really wrote that really good I mean because think about it the reason why he's fat like that because he's in a such a incredible big depression state which is very understandable because if you actually think about it Thor lost more than any of the Avengers did he lost more than Captain America he lost more than Iron Man he lost more than the Falcon he lost more than Bucky he lost more than um, T'Challa all of them he lost more than that uh, cause think about it Thor he lost his mother he lost his father he lost his brother and he lost like 99% of his people and he lost Heimdall that's, I mean that's the way he was saying that Thanos was going to pay for killing him Heimdall was like a family member to them I mean because look what Heimdall did that which me that's one of the one of the most be best characters that Marvel ever created because of his his personality um, Heimdall actually does put everybody before him you see what I'm saying um, I mean you could just look at some of the characters that they writ wrote him or how they wrote his character I mean he's pretty much a really cool guy I mean when he actually sent Incredible Hulk down to Doctor Strange um, Sanctum he knew Thanos was going to kill him but he put that first he put the people first he put everybody first before his own life so that's the reason why I like Heimdall he's one of the most great characters that Marvel ever created I mean it's a lot more I mean because I like Captain America a lot too because he's all about the people I mean yes everybody have their flaws but you know he's about the people he's about doing what is right but back to the Fat Thor is almost seem like people is not don't want to accept what the character is actually going through the only thing they actually looking at his physical Zeke for Zeke for, for Zeke I think that's how you pronounce he's looking at his for Zeke for Zeke I'm not sure how to pronounce that so I'm gonna go ahead and speak back basically his body built the way he looks that's what a lot of people is actually stuck on but that means to tell me that if y'all so stuck on that that means that y'all didn't even really enjoy the movie y'all ain't really actually seeing what the actually character how the character is actually written because like I was saying he lost his mother he lost his father he lost his brother he lost 99 percent of his people you know he lost Heimdall he um come protect earth and and all the other the realms that they supposed to be protecting like nowhere they supposed to protect those blacksmiths but they didn't and only he killed and Thanos killed all of them except left one alive yeah that excuse me that would take a tone a toll that would take a toll on someone I don't know why I said tone but you know that would take a toll on someone you see what I'm saying simply because he's a hero he's one of the mightiest heroes heroes that hits them hard that will send a hero into a depression state that will send a hero into sadness and stuff because they feel like they, they, he's the protector of all these realms he's the protector of his people he's the protector people is looking up to him for protection but he let everyone down when Thanos was able to do that snap you know what I'm saying because you know he's at probably actually calculating he should have actually went for the head instead of in the chest and everything like that if he did that that means the snap would have never happened and these people would have never been killed but by him not doing that Thanos was able to put off the snap so he taken it upon himself it's his fault that the snap, the snap even happened because if you think about it if Thor would have just came down and just chopped off his head or chopped off his arm he would have never did a snap so by Thor actually playing around hit him with hit the um, storm breaker in his chest and just constantly go like that to just see him suffer before he passed away that was a huge mistake and that's why Thanos was able to pull that snap so he fought in that on himself that's another big hit to his disp dep depression dep depression that's another big hit I mean think about it it was actually 
building that up since Guardians of the Galaxy 2. When you remember the time when Rocket and Thor was talking about it, and he was telling them about how he lost his his family, his mother, and, and all that stuff like that. See, he was about to break right then, but he pulled himself back together because he realized they was going he gonna actually be able to actually kill Thanos when he go with the Thor Stormbreaker. I mean, but because he lost Asgard, he lost his people. I mean, he lost his relationship. He lost a lot of things in his life. He lost more things in his life than any other of the Avengers did. And that is the reason why I say they did a very good job of writing him as Fat Thor. So, they're supposed to be re-releasing Avengers Endgame, which I'll be doing another video on that. They check When you go watch it again... Pay actually pay attention how the character is written, then actually you paying attention how the character look. I mean, all that look and all that stuff that fit perfectly. I love the way MCU is actually tackling and and actually making progress on these different topic topics. What's going on actually in the real world? Because you think about it, it's actually people in store in Thor state actually really right now that in such a depressing depressed state that they actually used to be built but they actually lost it all and became fat um, became all they do is drink all they do is eat just stay in the house and all that's because they so messed up inside because they are heroes and they can't I mean like for us like I'm not sure everybody's heroes but for as I can tell I'm just gonna say everybody's a hero that is actually trying to do right you know what I'm saying um, because you are a hero only heroes actually trying to do right only people that don't be in a depressed state and, and do like basically all this stuff can happen to a person and they don't even care about it that right there they'd be like an evil villain like Thanos because he killed all these people and he don't feel sorry about it at all that is evil okay Thor is a good guy all that stuff gonna hit them and I love the how they were trying to actually per they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't try to um, um portray that all across the film for everybody to actually realize what was going on they actually did it's just the people so blockhead is stuck in their mind because all they want to do is see a built Thor they don't want to see a fat Thor people that's a character that actually fit the way Thor should have been from all the chaos happening and also let you know superheroes have feelings too they have depressions depressed states they have sadness because it's more heavier on them than any villain ever. I mean, because you got to think about it. Um, he, a superhero, they actually care about what they're doing. They care about people. They care about doing right. They don't want to hurt nobody. They only want to protect by protect everybody. They only want to see people in peace, happy, and love. Now, if all this chaos happened, all these people killed, and all that stuff on your watch course you're going to be in a depressed state because you're going to feel everything is on you that's just the way it is that's the way good that's the way goods are that's what being good is actually is because you take a responsibility and you put it on yourself you accept that responsibility so if that if you fail at that responsibility it's on you that is very understandable people have this same emotional and feeling every single day only people that doesn't have that is evil people like Thanos you know what I'm saying he didn't care about that he didn't care who he killed he didn't care what family he hurt he didn't care about none of that that is the reason why you have a superhero and that's why you have a villain and that's why I tell people get off the fat Thor thing and actually pay attention to how they wrote the character and developed the character then you'll fully understand why that was a perfect character they written for Thor in Endgame okay now another thing a lot, I know a lot of people saying that Thanos was right for what he did Thanos was not right for what he did. You do not kill people. You do not take people's choice away and kill everybody. I don't know why people think that was right for what Thanos did. That was not right what he did. He had all the affinity gems. All he had to do, if he said that everything was being overpopulated, he had all the gems. All he had to do is create more space. Create another world. They can do that with the gems. Create another world and put people there. Or take them to another planet that is inhabited by humans you know what I'm saying just like a planet with just with like creatures and stuff like that take them to that planet I mean it's simple to do 
I mean, I don't know why people actually think Thanos is actually um, doing right for what he did. He ain't did right for what he did. Simply because he killed billions, trillions of people. You know, he did kill trillions of people. But I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, but what I'm saying is, pay more attention to Fat Thor. I think he did a great beautiful job of actually portraying the fat Thor and the depression state he was going through, the sadness and and all that. I mean, cause think about it. He wanted, even in this point, he wanted to help. He wanted to help um Incredible Hulk and Rock and all Rocket and all them. He wanted to help. But he was trying to like, I don't want to leave my depression state. I don't want to read my depression state. And then they say, Well, it's beer and he was like, Oh, well, it's an end game. He was like, Well, um basically he be like, okay Let's go do this since you got beer. Nah, it's like he's a superhero. And he got his superhero friends come and ask him to, for help. Even though he's going through his depression, depression state, he's going to actually go help his friends. He just used that. When he said more beer, beer, he just used that for an excuse for he can come kind of out of his depression state for he can actually go and try to help the, the Avengers, his friends, his family. That's what a little poor the reason why I think they put that in there for you can actually see that oh yeah oh since you got beer I go help you God, I mean think about it. he's a hero is there any opportunity that he can actually redeem himself he would take it you know um that is about all I got to say but that because no it's not I'm sorry I'm not trying not to make this video too long but one more thing I need to say about Thor I mean also Thor is the one of the most powerful Avengers and then all the Avengers not because he's Thor but yeah because he's Thor I don't know what I'm talking about but um he have the Thor Force. The Thor Force made him the most powerful one in the whole entire... I mean, make him the most powerful one in the whole Avengers. I mean, Thanos couldn't even beat Odin. You know what I'm saying? Thanos couldn't even touch Odin. And, um... But see, Odin have the Odin Force. The Odin Force come from Od um, Odin father and his brother. Because they would find this demon, Sutter. I think that's how you pronounce the name. He was in the, um... The Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok, that big demon guy right there. His father, Thor grandfather and, and uncle was actually, and his father was actually fighting that demon. And his grandfather and his uncle was killed in the fight. But before they was killed in the fight, they transferred their powers to Odin. So their powers combined with Odin made Odin even stronger. They, that became the Odin force. Now when Odin passed away, he, that Odin force transferred to Thor, which became the Thor force. So Thor have his grandfather, his uncle, and his father powers combined with him. That made him a screaming more powerful. So in a sense, he could defeat Thanos easily. But of course, they're not going to do that in the movie because it's loosely based off the comics. Man is loosely based. But yeah, so that's the reason why I'm saying that Thor is a lot more powerful and by him, by that being said, by him having all this power, and he could not stop what happening, that could actually mess him up even more, because he's not doing right what he's supposed to do. He don't. He need to actually. Um, not saying that he's not doing what he's supposed to do. He tried to do what he's supposed to do, but he failed because of where he where he did it, where he approached the whole thing. So he need to go back and actually strategize that and actually. Cause he went back, most likely he went back and tried to strategize how he can kill Thanos now. What he went wrong and what was not right then. Because you can tell that he was actually been in a depressed state. Cause when in Endgame, when he went back in the past, he was trying to tell his mom that the day she wasn't gonna get killed. Because they went back to the day she wasn't gonna be killed, but she didn't want to know because she said that is her future. I mean, that is her life, pretty much. Don't interrupt that. She don't want to know about that. She feel like with everything. If that were meant to be, that's a way of flow. That's a flow of um, destiny. So she, get, so she want to keep dying, I guess. But you know what I'm saying. But yeah, um, I'm about to go ahead and get off this video. I've been way too long. And thank y'all for actually um, tuning in to UCU News Reporting. I'm Fenrir Moon. I appreciate y'all actually taking the time to watch the video. Please subscribe. Please like. Please hit that notification button. And please share the video. And also, always, thank you so much for actually taking the time to watch the video. You see you, family members, and the future ones. Peace.